Today, I'm going to show you how to use Face Aware Liquify in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, we're going over a brand new feature just released in Photoshop. It's called Face Aware Liquify. Basically, it loads up facial detection software within the Liquify tool. So you can adjust features like the eyes, nose, mouth, and even how high the forehead is. You can use this for fun features if you want to just make someone look silly. And you can use it for professional retouching. If someone's eyes are a little bit too close, you can open them up. In this episode, we're going to show you how to use it and show you how to update your software to make sure you've got access to the Face Aware Liquify. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your software is up to date. So I'm going to go to Photoshop, down to About Photoshop CC here, and you can see I'm on 2015 5.0 release. Okay, you need this release or newer to have Face Aware Liquify. Now, if you want to update your software and you are subscribed to the Creative Cloud, simply click on your Creative Cloud, and you can click here. You can see Photoshop. It says Open, which means we're all up to date. If you've got an update thing, then just click there, and you're good to go. Again, make sure you're on 2015. 5.0 release and you've got access to the face aware liquify so it's really easy to you simply click on your background layer in this case i actually suggest duplicating your background layer so we're going to hit controller command j to duplicate that that's why i always have a backup if i need to go back up to my original guy okay let's click here we're going to go to filter and down to liquify okay now the liquify tool has changed a little bit let's go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller there we go so the liquify tool basically We've added this entire dialog box. Let's close everything else out so you guys can get an idea here. Everything else here was already loaded within the Lookify tool, but we've added this dialog that says the face aware Lookify. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. You can see it's asked us to select which face. In this case, we're, we just have one face. We have an example where we're gonna be do, using multiple faces as well. So in this case, we just have one face. Okay, you have options for the eyes, nose, nose mouth, and your face shape. Okay, and we also have our different tools. So all these tools are standard with our forward warp tool, which is what I use most commonly within the Lookify dialog. But down here we have the face tool and the face tool gives us options for actually editing our faces. So let's go ahead and start off by clicking on the face tool. Now when you click on the face tool, Photoshop already recognizes a face, okay? So these little bars around here saying, yeah, I recognize this is a face in Photoshop. This is, <laughs> we are gonna be able to adjust this. Now you can hover over any of the different facial features within Photoshop. As you can see, it's like hover over the mouth. We get a couple of little uh, icons or control bars over the mouth. Same with the nose and same with the eyes and even the general face shape. So whether you're adjusting with this tool where you can actually push and pull around the face or with these sliders, you have access to the same controls. Basically, you can just push and pull right on the face or you can use your sliders. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in and show you how it works. So starting off with our eyes, we're going to look at eye size, which you can make larger or smaller. And the tool actually does a really good job. Um, eye height, there we go. Eye width and eye tilt as well if someone's got well, I guess if you want to change the tilt on someone's eyes and the distance from the center. Now I'm going to click reset here. It's going to bring everything back to zero and I'm going to hover over it. I, I like actually using the tools a little bit better. So here we have a few tools on the outside here. You have your eye tilt. Okay. So you can click and just drag there up or down. Okay. Here you have your eye width. All right. So that'll bring your eyes wider and less wide. Okay. You have your eye size. There we go. And your eye height bring that up or down. Now, of course you can use this for creative effects. If you want to do something like that and make like a hello kitty face or something like that, you could totally have a lot of fun with this. What I would suggest, let's hit reset here, is going a lot more subtle. In this case, I might bring the eye height up a tiny bit and maybe the eye size up a tiny bit as well. This is not something where you want to like go crazy with it. I would just keep these relatively subtle. All right, next we're looking at nose. You can adjust your nose height. All right, there we go, and your nose width as well. Now you can do the same things by hovering over. Simply click here on the outer edges to change your width, all right, and you can change your nose height there as well. Okay, 
and we've got our mouth. So we can add or subtract a smile, which I think is funny. It, I mean, given that the software is doing this automatically, it, it does work pretty well. I, in my opinion, that's not really a realistic smile, but hey, <laughs> that's what we get. We're using the liquify tool here. All right, we can bring our upper lip up or down. We can do the same thing with the lower lip. Maybe bulge that out a little bit. We can increase or decrease the mouth width as well as the mouth height. Okay, now as far as our face shapes, you can go and add or subtract some forehead distance there. You can change your chin height. This is so, it's nuts. Adjust your jawline and your face width as well. So you can see we have a lot of controls. And if you hover over, here we go. This is your jawline. Here we have our chin height. Hover right over. Here we have our forehead height. And here we have our general face width. All right. So you can see we have a ton of control over the face. Now, when do you use this tool? What is, when's it actually going to help a portrait? Well, you can totally use it to make someone just silly. That's, that's fun. And in that case, just go all out. Now we're going to give you an example of how I might actually use the tool to maybe enhance someone's face. So to start off, let's go ahead to our reset. Okay, and our subject looks great. Honestly, there's not a whole lot that I would do to a person. I, this sort of thing is totally fun. Um, maybe bring her forehead down just a tiny bit. There we go. Again, maybe bring her eyes just a little bit larger. This is for portraits. I, you know, I'm not a person who's going to say that a person should look a certain way. I think everyone looks the exact way that they should. So, um, you know, this is, it's totally up to you how you want to do it, but just things like maybe make the smile a little bit wider and bring the lower lip down and then bring the chin up a little bit and the face shape in. So these are just like really subtle adjustments that I might look at. Let's go ahead and hit OK here. Now keep in mind we did make a duplicate of our background layer. So if I turn this off and on, we can get an idea of some of the changes that we made in the image. So there's the before and the after. And you can see even that I would probably say is a little bit too much of an effect. So the key here is keep these subtle, make subtle adjustments. If you do want to make someone's eyes a little bit bigger, have a lot of fun with it. But if you want to make it realis make re realistic, be subtle with it. All right, so there's our example with one subject. Now we're going to jump in and show you how to do this with multiple subjects. All right, so jumping back into Photoshop, we've got a great family portrait here. Now I'm going to duplicate the background. We're going to go to filter and down to liquify. There we go. And it's going to load everyone's face here in Photoshop, which I think is really cool that it can do multiple faces in one. So here you can choose your faces. Let's say we want to do face one. And then in this case, we'll just say, okay, it's going from left to the right. So this is face one, two, three, and four. We can adjust our eye size and basically everything. We have all the same options, but we can do this with everyone. Now I'm going to hit command plus a couple times and everyone looks great, but, um, <laughs> We maybe can adjust the daughter's mouth just a little bit. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab some of these corners. We bring this in a little bit, maybe bring the top lip in a little bit. She's making a little bit of a funny face and there we go. I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to change, but maybe we'll add just a little bit more of a smile <laughs> to her face. All right, she's kind of crinkling her nose. So maybe we can kind of work with that a little bit and we're going to there we go, bring her eyes so they're not look like she's making such a funny face there. Now, obviously, you know, you can't just like click, hey, make it look like a great face and then it's going to do it. You know, like you can't change the actual smile. But in this case, we've given it a little bit more of an upturn and I think it looks a little bit more like an actual smile. So that's really cool. All right. And now you could work with everyone else. You know, if dad's always saying, no, I don't like how big my chin is or whatever. Um, you could bring that up and I, I think he's got a great chin. This is, <laughs> I'm just using examples here. Um, but everyone has their own things, you know, like for instance, like me, I think, you know, like I broke my nose a few years ago and it's a little bit crooked. So sometimes in pictures I'm like, Oh, my crooked nose, everyone has their own thing. Someone's like, I wish my eyes were different or whatever. So if you're doing a family portrait and your mom says, I want my eyes to be a little bit bigger, you can say, I can bring this into the face of where. Uh, the face aware liquify tool and we can make your eyes bigger. Or I want my smile to be a little bit bigger. You can do that here within this tool as well. This is a cute family. <laughs> so there we go. You can see you can use multiple different subjects and simply click and drag over the different fa facial features and adjust them from there. All right, let's hit okay there. And let's take a look at our before and our after. So there's the before, 
and the after. You can see, I think it did make a positive difference uh, with the daughter here. Um, let's see, the, there's the before and the after. So again, just gave her a little bit more of a smile. I think it makes her look a little bit happier there. <laughs> Still a little bit making a funny face, but I think it looks good. All right, guys, cool. So that's the basic idea of how to use the Face Aware Liquify tool in Photoshop. If you want to do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, make sure your software is up to date. We're using Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 version 5.0. To update your software, simply go to your Creative Cloud installer and click on Update. Now, if you're using an older version of software like CS2 or CS3, unfortunately, you will not have access to the Face Aware Liquify tool. Next, make a duplicate of your layer and go to Filter and Down to Liquify. You can either click on the Face Aware Liquify tool or you can simply click on the dialog box and start editing different features. You have access to the eyes, nose, mouth, and even things like face width, chin height, and forehead height. You can also use Face Aware Liquify with different faces. Simply select the face you want from the drop down box and edit your facial features. Now, I suggest being pretty subtle with this if you want it to be realistic. If you want to go for a caricature style, then totally blow it out of the water and have a lot of fun doing it. All right, guys, and that's it. How to use Face Aware Liquify in Photoshop. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have any questions about today's episode or a comment or you just have an idea for a new episode, you can leave it in the comment box right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Hey, what are you chewing on? What are you chewing on? I have a special guest. Oh, a dog, yeah. <laughs> cool, come here. It's fine, it was, it was